Yes. <gasps> Me and my girl Bernice are out here in these streets. These good, uh, this good holy sanctified Sunday street. We are on the road to just, yeah, salvation. Today's bet is my all time favorite dream center. Girl, what were you listening to? Uh, the fighting sensation. Yeah. I'm worried about people. Yeah. Like, the way she should be in the morning. something to eat for this fast that I'm supposed to be doing for the next two days and I can't find nothing because I'm not supposed to have sugar any strong drinks or meat and I think I've done good in regards to like the meals and stuff but like I literally have like no snack like I have fruits and stuff um but no snacks so I don't know I may just kind of shelf it right now and then um just go to Aldi's a little later on today I need so far and I got some hold on and then I got one of my favorite drinks because it's zero sugar <laughs> <laughs> And I'm so upset. And I haven't been able to find anything because everything has sugar in it. Like the chips I like, the little, it's not chips, it's like this little uh, wheat cracker. It has like five grams of sugar. You're not blocking my blessing sugar. So now I'm walking around trying to figure out what I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna get anything. And I just don't know. I mean, I guess I can get some. No, because applesauce has sugar in it. They got unsweetened applesauce right here. I'm like, oh. Total sugar is 12 grams. Can't get it. Can't get it. Isn't it so crazy? Total sugars. 12 grams. So I guess I'm just out of luck right now. Um, I've been babysitting a salad for the last couple of hours, but... I don't know, all this stuff has sugar in it. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board. I'm probably gonna sit in church tonight and look up things that I can eat. But I tried, I tried, I definitely tried. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so what's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? I am on my way to to church to close out the last two days of a fast, a 48 hour fast. So I'm excited about that. I have a terrible case of hiccups that I have had all day. And I clearly don't know how to shake it. I've tried scaring myself. I've tried holding my breath. I've tried chugging a ton of water. And for, at one moment, it kind of dis it disappeared. And now, it's like, hey, I'm back. Mm -hmm. Just went on break. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to make it. And I'm really hoping that, like, by the grace of God, I hope that these hiccups go away before I actually get to the church house. Because I don't want to get to the church house. Excuse me. And I'm hicking up all for the rest of the service. So <sighs> pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. Pray for me. 
it's funny. It's crazy because, excuse me, Ooh. it's crazy because the hiccups are making me really sleepy. Like, I'm tired. I am tired, honey. I am tired. I am tired. Oh, 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 I forgot. So today I did something really, really cool. And I signed up for my first tennis lesson. Yes. And uh, I am just overly excited because I know that this is something that I have been really wanting to do, especially now that I'm in real estate. Excuse me. <laughs> especially now that I'm in real estate and I've always have loved watching the sport, um, but I don't know a lot about it. So, heck, got it. already have a couple of tennis rackets and tennis balls. And, uh, you know, I'm just about to do my big one. I'm gonna see what it's given. I start next month, literally like a week after, um, after my move. And uh, yeah, February 1st. So, I'm stupid excited. You hear me? I'm stupid excited. Stupid, 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 stupid. I need to stop. But I'm stupid excited about it, man. I'm stupid excited. And if I'm good at tennis, bro, like, do you understand? Like, I'm really, like, really, 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 really competitive. Um, I come from a very competitive family. Uh, we love sports. So, everything's a friendly, fun competition. Um, but I definitely think, like, tennis will definitely be, like, my level of, like, you know, it's very Maddie. It's very Matthew. Men and women of God with the power of the Holy Ghost. And that's what God is doing in this house. So do I. Look at the cigarette. It's just paper and tobacco. Look at the joint. It's just paper and marijuana. Look at the edible, look at it. Y'all, y'all, I is okay. No cap. I walked into the congregation and I had no hiccups. <laughs> now I got the hiccups again. I sit in my car and I have the hiccups again. Um, but ooh, and uh, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy that I I feel this. All these darn hiccups. Um, but anyways, excuse me. <laughs> it's just terrible. Wow, it's right. Just left church, and what I tell you, God is just, God is just so good. Uh, like God is just so good. Like God is so good all the time, bro. And I don't even know how to like really stress that. I've been in Atlanta for like, <gasps> oh, excuse me. It'll be six years this year. That's better. Um, I've been, no, excuse me, I've been in Atlanta for six years now, and I've gone through so many different friend groups just trying to find my footing in the city, and I've had so many different experiences, and in each experience, I, excuse me, I felt like I was minimizing myself to conform to the energies that I was around. And to know me is to know that I'm a, <laughs> I'm, I'm God, I have gotten really, really good at it. But 
I'm a huge people pleaser. And I, it's just, it's really, I say it's the host in me because if you're in my, if you're in my vicinity, um, I want to make sure that not, excuse me, not only that you are so comfortable, super chill. Um, I just like to make sure, you know, excuse me, people are good. Uh, so whatever I have to do to kind of do that, it's just, it comes automatic to me. It's not something that's just like, oh, I gotta, I gotta pretend to be this. I gotta pretend to be that. No, it's just, I, my personality has, ooh, excuse me, a lot of different facets. And for a long time, um, I thought that, you know, it was, excuse me, me with a lot of these situations and not really understanding that what God has for me is bigger than, than who I try to minimize myself for when I'm around, you know? And it's crazy because, you know, you, I, I hear things and I've witnessed people, you know, get around people and they fall into like drug addiction and all of those crazy things that energies because they're constantly trying to woo de woo. Now mine, um, my vice, my addiction became marijuana. I was introduced to it a long, long time ago. And you know, I social I, socially I would smoke, would do, would do, but I used to look at smoking and being high as like a celebration of life. You know, like oh my gosh, this is the this is what's able to sit me down because I used to be on the go all the time. Whether it was working on strategies, work, friends, like I was never sitting down. And so, um, excuse me, <laughs> these hiccups, man. So I just kind of me realize that because I was around so many people who, who smoked weed because it was their vice I decided to make it my vice it's a fact that hearing another fucking female think how you really think in your head but then you don't really show it because you try to give a motherfucker a benefit of the doubt that they not gonna play with you. Are you recording me right now? Are you recording me? Yeah. Oh God. I need a ring light. A little ring on the thing? Yeah. That'll be cute. I probably do. I need to get one. Yeah, it'll be so much better. Be we have, you didn't even see how to, if that looked like a ring light. Is the door open? <laughs> what the fuck is you doing, Matthew? I don't know what was you doing. When I told you that... <laughs> What's going on right now? When I told you that you look like Lionel... <laughs> Richie, with the hair, girl. How did you say... Yo, you know... No, no. You know who looks like... Um, no, not Lionel Richie. What? <laughs> Like now, but no, I'm saying like uh, when you get older. <laughs> I better have Lionel Richie money. <laughs> yes, you just get that whole vibe of rich daddy. Rich daddy. Whether it's you and fucking um Nyla and you or you gonna add some more pups or you gonna get you an actual baby that you gonna be calling yeah, me asking me about advice like Layla. Why Matthew, I can't help you, baby. That was eight years ago and 18 years ago with Levi. Like, Levi be asking me sometimes, and I be feeling so bad. Are you serious? I'm so bummy. You remember when I did that? And I'm <laughs> like, like, nigga, if you only knew <laughs> where mommy was at, which. What's going on, y'all? I'm so tired. It is one in the morning and I should not be eating. This is JJ's, but I'm eating the JJ's. And I'm so happy right now.
how is everybody doing? What's going on, y'all? So, me and Nyla are on a hike right now. Uh, it's not really a hike. We just hit a trail. Uh, it's going to be a busy weekend. We're moving tomorrow. So, I'm trying to get my mind ready. I'm trying to get prepared into thinking what I need to do next. I'm excited. She's excited. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're just super excited. You probably can't see anything right now, <laughs> but we are in the middle of darkness. And Actually, let me turn the light on. I mean, let me turn the light off so you can see. Super dark. <laughs> we are in the middle of darkness and it's about to rain. It's like picking up and we are like at least a mile away from where we need to be. <laughs> ah, we get <getting> wet. <laughs> so we just got soaked. Soaked. <laughs> I feel like I just allowed the earth to baptize me <laughs> and Nyla. I guess we should have turned around a little earlier um, because it got dark really quick and we were really like deep into it. And then it just started to shower. So yeah, that was fun. 